Hey, it's Chris, and uh, today I wanted to talk to you about licensing and it being a game of chance. So, a lot of you think licensing is just that. It's like a lottery, right? You put your music out there, you throw it in some libraries, you hand it off to your licensing agent, and then you hope. You hope that something happens. Well, hope is great in a life raft, you know? Like if you're waiting to be rescued, it can get you through. Hope does not work when you're licensing your music. So you can think about it a different way. Think about it a little bit like, you know, what are the odds of you going to the moon, right? They're probably similar to mine. So the population of the earth is about 7.5 billion people. So you and I probably have about a one in 7.5 billion chance of going to the moon. Now, let's say that you were instead an astronaut and you're being trained by NASA. What are your odds then, right? So it depends so much on you know, what you do and the things that you know about licensing your music. Now the top three things that people need to understand when they're licensing their music are targeting, vetting their music, and knowing how to pitch the music. So the first one, targeting, just means that you wanna find shows and ads and movies where your music's gonna fit perfectly in. And the way to do that is simply look up, you know, different uses like bands that are similar to you that got placed. A lot of times those shows are looking for your music. The second thing is vetting. Don't just trust yourself that you know the best, you know, for your, that you're the best person for your music. You know exactly what is going to work and, and so on, even for your fans. Put together a listening group or get to get people that, you know, you really trust, ears that you trust who can tell you, look, you know, this is working, maybe this isn't working. And don't just rely on one person, you know? Your mom, she's gonna tell you that you're awesome all the time, no matter what you do, you could burn down the shed and you're still awesome. So uh, pick people who are gonna give you honest opinions. And the third thing is pitching. You have to know how to get your music to the right people, right? To the gatekeepers, to the people who do this. You can do it through libraries and licensing agents and so on, or you can go directly after the music supervisors. If you get these three things down, if you do those three things really well and understand exactly what you're doing when you do them, you are like that astronaut being trained by NASA. Your chances of getting your music into TV and film are much, much higher than everybody else. So I just want you to understand that success in music and getting your music into TV and film is not a game of chance. Of course, there's always like lucky breaks and being at the right place at the right time. I've had songs where, you know, they were placeholders for the show and they were on the top of the, yep, it was gonna be in the show, gonna be in the show, gonna be in the show. Last minute, they swapped it out for another one. That happens too. You can't help it, it's just a part of life. But if you've got a few things going on all the time, that's when the success starts to happen. That's the reason so many artists get the syncs over and over and over again. Of course, their songs have to be great and songwriting and production has to sound really good like everything else getting into TV and film. But the bottom line is they understand how to do that. Okay, so don't think it's a game of chance. I'm really curious to hear your feelings on that. Uh, leave a comment below, right below here. Let me know, I respond to every single one and I'm really curious to know your experience or if you still do feel that it's just like a lottery. Okay, have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.